We need pool acid to lower the pH and alkalinity in our pool, but which one do we choose? Today we're going to discuss that along with the pros and cons of each type of acid. So is it dry acid or muriatic acid? Which one's better? I created this chart showing the differences between both types of acid. I won't go through the entire chart. You can pause it as you like and look it over and it has some really good information that you might want to know. So let's start with dry acid. Dry acid or sodium bisulfate is a granular kind of acid and it's a really good alternative to muriatic acid. And some pros are this. It's normally sold in bags or containers like the one you see here. It has a pH level of about 1 and it has a high pre-dilution strength of about 93%. It has no noxious odors and it's easy to handle, store, and add to your pool. Now some cons to keep in mind is that the dry acid does contain sulfates which can be a little difficult to remove from your pool. Overuse of dry acid can cause your sulfates to drastically increase. Anything over 300 parts per million could be a concern. Prolonged and unchecked high levels of sodium bisulfate can weaken cement, grout, tiles, and concrete. Salt pools are prone to have the pH increase naturally, so this type of acid might not be the best choice due to the fact that you're going to use it constantly to lower the pH. And dry acid could be a little more expensive, and that really depends on where you can find it. Now onto muriatic acid. Muriatic acid, or hydrochloric acid, is an extremely strong form of acid. It's been used in the cleaning and pool industry for decades. Some pros are this. It comes in a liquid form, normally sold in one gallon jugs for pools, has a pH level of about one to two, has a wide range of available strengths from 15 percent up to 34 percent. Contains no sulfates and is slightly cheaper than dry acid. Some cons are this acid is a liquid which means that if you spill it on something well you can say bye bye to it. It'll bleach it out. Also it gives off a really noxious odor which can really be offensive to a lot of pool owners. If you think chlorine vapors are bad muriatic acid vapors are a lot worse. I'd like you to check this out. This is a picture of my hand. You can see all those little white dots there. Those are scars and burn marks from using muriatic acid and liquid chlorine. And that's just one area. Here's a video of me using muriatic acid. And here's part of a video I did on how you can use pH down and the benefits of using dry acid. So really, the choice is yours. If the cheaper cost and availability is important to you, then muriatic acid is a pretty good choice. If safety and not having to breathe in nasty fumes is important to you, then dry acid would be the way to go. Either way, both products will decrease your pH and alkalinity. In the end, it's up to you to decide which one you like and which way you like to go.